It's okay, girl. Won't take long. Need you now, girl. You done good, girl. Come here, Arthur. Miss Grimshaw? Miss Grimshaw? Yes, what is it? Hey, have you seen Karen? The O'Driscoll boy? No, I haven't. Firstly, he isn't an O'Driscoll, and secondly... Hello, Arthur. I'm worried. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up. His sort normally do. Okay. Thank you. How's it going? Well, we're okay. okay. Arthur, have you seen Kieran yeah. around anywhere? Oh, come to think of it, no, not for a while. Okay, speak later. Are you ready for sure Tahiti, thing. Mr. Piss? Tahiti, short? Tahiti? I've never been to Tahiti. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep from the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. Good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So... Who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. 
I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. Let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, uh, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. some good cover over here you hide behind this tree to my left morgan williamson Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Okay, here we are. them in the road. 
Over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. the loot and let's go. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon.
My girl.
So it's a city bank, and then we're off. It's what you wanted. It's what we need, if we can manage it. City banks are hard, but we got a lot of guns. You think we can do it? I hope so. Come along. I really do. Damn it, Bill. You all right, Jack? Arthur? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. <laughs> you got some guts, kid. That's for sure. <laughs> That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. Hi, Jack. Hey, Hiya, Arthur. You're growing up fast. That's what Mama says, too. Just don't turn into me. You promise? Uh-huh. You regretting falling in with us yet? Didn't figure we'd be on the run like this. I've been on the run for a long time before this. Dutch. Hello, Arthur. Little Miss Romance, I was right. About what? Sandini. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> She's frightened of romance, Arthur, so she makes some nonsense. Don't we all? <laughs> How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. 
If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! The Frisco boys are coming! Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Oh. 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 
and you get inside. And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Sorry. This is I all should gone. go focus on my crazy. devotionals. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. So, what now? We need to start learning from our mistakes. I know. There was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. 
I was almost starting to like that Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. Bill's a bad drunk, but you might even beat him. Not in the mood, Arthur. Take it easy. I ain't serious. Okay, Arthur. Will you leave me alone? Easy, killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to row you. Believe me. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Yes. He was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh, Driscoll's, Pinkertons. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. Hi there. Is that food nearly ready? Give me a chance, will you? Uh-huh. Morning. It was good working with you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, well, I suppose it worked out in the end. <laughs>